Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So I've just recently purchased my very first lens for my Sony a7 IV full frame camera. Now, whenever I did buy this, I did get it with a kit lens. And so the lens that came with it is this one right here. This is the Sony FE 3.5 20 70 Now, if you're not familiar with all those numbers mean, let me give you a general explanation of what this means whenever it comes to lenses. And so the first one, f3.5, is the f-stop or aperture. And what is that? It's basically the whole pupil part of the lens where it opens up and it closes down. And so in this case, it's kind of confusing, but the smaller the f-stop number, the larger the aperture, and that affects a number of things, including the whole blurry background effect that you see. And so the larger the aperture or smaller the f-stop number, the blurrier the background. And then the second set of numbers, 28 to 70 millimeters, is the focal length. So just think about it this way, the smaller the number, the wider your field of view, and then the larger the number, the more zoomed in or cropped that the field of view looks. And so it's just a very simple explanation of something that could get really complex when it comes to lenses. But overall, I think this is a really great lens when it comes to this camera, and it gives you a lot of versatility. Now, whenever I did purchase my first mirrorless camera, the Panasonic G85, the kit lens that came with this one was a 12 to 60 f3.5, and this is a micro four thirds, and so it's not exactly the same as a full frame camera. And one of the big reasons why I did not decide to invest in more lenses for this system is the simple fact that the autofocus was not reliable, specifically when it comes to video. That's why I didn't really purchase any more lenses for this camera. However, whenever I got the Sony a7 IV, it pretty much gave me everything I needed, especially great and reliable video autofocus. So now I decided to invest in my very first lens, which is this one right here. This is the Sony FE f1.8 50 millimeters. And that's actually what I'm using to record this video right now. And this is quite often referred to as a nifty 50. And in a future video, I will be making a fully detailed review on this. And so just look forward to that. But overall, this is probably the best lens for the price. Uh, this is a $250 lens and it is the most inexpensive Sony lens that you can get. And overall, I am extremely happy with this lens. Not only is it inexpensive, but also it gives me something that I've been really looking for and that is this whole blurry background. Since the aperture f-stop is a lot larger than the kit lens that came with it, I get a lot better blurry background, bokehlicious effect. And this one's a little different. This is not a zoom lens. This is a prime lens, meaning it doesn't zoom. It just stays in one focal length, which is 50 millimeters. And so that's just my quick introduction to my very first lens. I'm really happy that I got this. And I think for most people who are starting out with their cameras, eventually they are gonna be getting a lens. And for most people, they will be getting this same thing, a 50 millimeter, nifty 50 uh, prime lens. And normally the aperture on a prime lens is gonna be able to get larger than it will with a zoom lens. And once again, we'll go into that a little bit further whenever I do my full review. So that's just my quick video today on my very first lens. And so if you actually had any thoughts on this or maybe share your very first lens that you got for your camera, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my camera tutorial tips and reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Set up your business easily and legally with incredibly affordable rakes at Inkfowl. Join more than 500,000 businesses and launch your business today. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below.